Hey, welcome to 1500ESPN.com. I'm Derek Wetmore. This is Vikings analyst Andrew Kramer. Uh, we're across the street from Winter Park, still in Eden Prairie, but just found a little bit more comfortable studio. Uh, we got some clarity on the starters today. We'll talk about that in the video. We also want to just preview the Rams a little bit yep. here. Basically, what we're going to do with these videos uh, midweek is a condensed version of the Purple Podcast. Andrew and I have the podcast equipment all set up here. We're Ready to record that episode. Those are generally 20 to 30 minutes. So if you're looking for more Viking stuff, do check out the website, 1500ESPN.com, for more Purple Podcasts. We'll have all of this stuff in finer detail. But, Andrew, strong safety, middle linebacker, nickel corner. These three things were uncertain before today. Now they are certain. Who are your starters? Well, Robert Bland is going to start at strong safety alongside Harrison Smith. That's not too big of a surprise to some people. Now, he was listed as the top safety on their yeah. initial depth chart, but that was one of the most fluid things out there. However, Robert Bland gets the start. He was hurt. He only played in two preseason games, the mm -hmm. third and the fourth one. Usually you don't play your starting safety in the fourth preseason game, but the Vikings had to do it just because they didn't have much on film for him. So in order to get that look at Robert Bland, then that was good for them. However, how much you're going to glean from a, a guy yeah. going up against a backup Tennessee offense. So it's going to be a huge question mark for my mind in terms of Robert starting alongside Harrison. He's never started at safety in the NFL. He had three starts last year. They were all at cornerback. Harrison has never played alongside Robert for an entire game either. Obviously, they went to Notre Dame together. They've been playing together for about seven years. However, these past three years in the NFL, they haven't played together. So it's going to be some a little bit of a learning curve. But fortunately, they're going up against Sean Hill in the Rams offense, which isn't necessarily going to blow anybody's mm -hmm. roof off. However, Jasper Brinkley was named the starting middle linebacker. That wasn't much of a surprise to anybody just because Mike Zimmer had come out before and said that he had the lead at the, at the job. And he was and, listed at the top of that. Depth yeah, and nothing side. nothing really changed in terms of that, in terms of in practice and Audi Cole pushing for that job. We saw Audi Cole make some plays, which was good. Mm -hmm. However, he was quite the liability in pass coverage, which could be the case with Jasper as well. So keep an eye on that in, in the Rams game in terms of what they try to do with their running backs, matching up with those linebackers in the pass game. And we got the word that Josh Robinson will probably be that starting third corner in those nickel packages. Now, that's essentially a starter just because they play in nickel about half the time. So with Josh getting that nod, Josh said he's been practicing all week. Mike Zimmer didn't say anything about it, but Josh told me he's been practicing all week as that starter. We got to watch about a half hour of practice today, and Josh was taking those first team reps. So he's the guy. And so those backup corners are going to be obviously Marcus Sherrill, Sean Prater, and Jabari Price. But your starters are Captain Munrell and Xavier Rhodes in the base with Josh Robinson in the nickel. And I'm guessing your nickel linebackers are going to be Chad Greenway and Anthony Barr yeah. with Jasper Brinkley coming off the field in those nickel spots. Yeah, that's the way they did it through the preseason. Yeah. And that's also the looks they were showing in training camp. That would make the most sense. We'll definitely get way more into that on the Purple Podcast. But I do want to fast forward a little bit to the Rams game Sunday here. Uh, week one, as you had mentioned, now Sean Hill starting at quarterback. Yeah. Not as tall of a task for the Vikings defense as if they had been going against Sam Bradford before that injury. Uh, you and I talked a little bit off camera, though, about one key matchup that we'll be watching yeah. for on Sunday. Uh, what do you have your eyes on, Andrew? Uh, Matt Khalil. All eyes should be on Matt Khalil, but obviously because this is going to be one of his biggest tests of the season going up against Robert Quinn, who had 19 sacks last year. So Robert Quinn has had, I believe, 29 and a half sacks in the last two years. He's not a guy that's messing around, and he's not going to necessarily take it easy on Matt Khalil. Now, Vikings fans saw Matt Khalil struggle with Tamba Ali in that third preseason game. Now, North Turner came to his defense and said, hey, we put him out on an island by himself on purpose. Well, that's great. That's what he should be doing as your franchise left tackle. And if yeah. he's struggling, that's still newsworthy. So mm -hmm. with Matt Khalil having those struggles, Matt came out and said, hey, I was experimenting with some sets and techniques that I'm not going to use in the regular season. Still, to me, it's not a good sign if your left tackle is experimenting in the third preseason game, knowing it's going to be his last preseason game before the regular season. So we got to see him with a surgically repaired knee going out there, trying things out and, and sometimes failing against Tamba Ali. So I'm going to keep my eye on Robert Quinn against Matt Khalil on that left side of the offensive line. Can he hold him off long enough for Matt Castle to make those throws in a North Turner offense that typically takes a little while to develop? Yeah, that's what I'll be fascinated to mm -hmm. see is do they allow enough time for Castle to drop back in the pocket, go through his progressions, and this offense is designed a lot around the downfield yes. shots. Will yep. they have enough time to let those plays develop? 
or are the Vikings going to have to switch over and do some check downs, quick outs, stuff like that, uh, play action, um, even just checking out to the running yeah. backs, as Matt Castle talked about this morning. Uh, there's a lot of curveballs they can throw, but the staple of this offense is being able to take those shots. Can't do it if you don't allow time for the play to develop. And obviously the biggest question going into this uh, regular season in general with the Vikings is can this defense turn it around first year under Mike Zimmer? It's going to be a project. You keep hearing these these players and coaches preach it is going to take some time. However, the biggest test, as we just talked about, is going to be this offensive line right away. It's the third season they're in a, in a third season in a row they are together. There should be no excuses, especially with a, a Matt Khalil entering his, his uh, another season as that left franchise tackle. After his sophomore struggles last year, playing on a bum knee, he needs to come up big, and Robert Quinn is just as good as test as anybody for him. That's what we'll be watching Sunday. What will you be watching Sunday? Uh, we'll also have way more breakdown of this stuff on the Purple Podcast. As I mentioned, check that out. You can either get that on the show page right at the top here. Click on Shows, and there's a Purple Podcast tab. Alternatively, you can go to soundcloud.com backslash 1500 ESPN. You'll find all of our podcasts, including Sports Over Beers and the Purple Podcast. Uh, we will be chatting Thursday, 1230. There's a Vikings chat live from Winter Park. Uh, Andrew and I will be answering any questions you have and yep. taking any of your observations. So please also join that chat. We've got the videos, the podcasts, the hangouts, the chats, our game day coverage. You can come chat with us on Sundays too. Omnipresent basically on 1500ESPN.com oh, yeah. for Vikings coverage. So uh, bookmark the website. If you like Vikings coverage, you got to be following this guy on Twitter too, Andrew underscore Kramer. Uh, that'll do it for this video. Andrew, I, I'll see you again uh, in yeah. a few minutes for the Purple Podcast. Thanks for joining us. For Andrew Kramer, I'm Jared Wetmore. Thanks for coming to 1500ESPN.com.